my lips are super trapped right now but that's not gonna stop me from making this video anyways i made a community post saying that i'm gonna make a face reveal and like i said i'm a man of my word and i did just that let's go puppy why are you doing a face reveal well main reason is it helps diversify content no longer do i have to let everyone watch hours upon hours of terrible just oh god just awful gameplay of games that i'm not good at at least now you know we could have this and, and watch this guys watch this oh, oh, oh look at that look at that look at that look at that we can put that in the corner of basically every video and game we play and, and i could just make content that way it's always been something i personally wanted to do it's always been something i i, I hoped one day i could do but honestly I, I i just felt like i'll be honest i'll say it I'm a pretty insecure person when it comes to, you know, showing showing my face and even posting the videos that I like to make. So this this may not really seem like a big step. And I know some people might be like, oh, you're not really technically showing your face, which, which is true. This isn't really a face reveal. It's more or less just, uh, as my friend said, just showing everyone how fat you are reveal, <laughs> which was kind of funny, I guess. I don't know. It is also kind of true. I'm, I'm not really uh, showing you know my my fit my full face here which i'm still holding on to that insecurity but i feel like this is a good start i feel like now i'm at least able to create content that maybe i could laugh at maybe i could do stupid reactions to things that i enjoy it, just dumb things that make me happy because i'll be honest the past week i've been just so demotivated to create videos i've just felt like my videos weren't good enough i felt like every video i've been putting out was just dumb and just not funny whatsoever so th this this kind of feels like a breath of fresh air but but at the same time you know i'm not I'm not David Dobrik handsome, I'm, I'm kind of just, I look like an idiot, I literally am an idiot, and I don't know if you can tell, but I'm basically recording in a basement right now, because I am doing some changes to my room, so that's going to be a while till I actually move my computer back in there, so for the time being, you guys are stuck at looking so, at some scuffed things, you know, we got, we got that scuffed uh, treadmill right there, we got that Icarus poster, that's honestly my favorite poster here, and some scuffed couches and, and an old TV. See, my biggest fear is just because now that I, I somewhat showed myself, a lot of you will just unsubscribe because you're like, oh god, I'm sub to this idiot. This is the guy that sit there going, duh, 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 ding, phantom. Unfortunately, yes, I am that idiot. But at the same time, it's kind of just like, I, I want to be able to make content that, that, that I truthfully enjoy and content that, that I find funny because I'm just, I don't know. I've been in such a rut and it's honestly sucked. I felt like quitting. I felt like giving up and, and that basically goes all against the, the scuff puppy name that's that's not what scuff, scuff puppy doesn't quit when he encounters difficulties and also i do understand i look like i'm about to rob your grandma but i assure you your grandma is safe i am not robbing her anytime now i can officially become a youtube reactor something i've dreamed about i'm just kidding i probably might react to some content here and there but i don't really have much room to say anything about anyone else's content when i when i'm literally you know this insecure but like i said this is this is a start for me this is me getting out of my comfort zone this is me trying different things because as a creator a lot of people fail to realize but most of the time you're just you know you're just trying everything you're dipping your toes in everything till you find something that you enjoy and something that works and who knows maybe we could do a bunch of stuff on here maybe i could create a bunch of content that i've always wanted to create but i was too scared to do it and okay for, for the wise guys that are gonna be like oh it's called puppy you're a big fella you're not a <laughs> You're, you're a big puppy and though i agree with you i'm taking preemptive measures to ensure that by the, the summer 2020 scuff puppy will be the chiselest the chiselest puppy on earth okay maybe not the chiselest puppy but we'll, but we'll be there and i also wanted to just take this moment to thank everyone for 2k subscribers i'm at 1.96k subs which if you look at me you know <laughs> I'm a loser. Like, why, why, why are people subscribing to me? I, I honestly don't know. I, I don't get why. I don't get what you guys see in me. I, I, I look like like an idiot. Like, see this this somewhat face. It, it's it's very stupid. But I'm still thankful for every single one of you that have clicked the subscribe button, that have shared my video, that have commented on it. It really does mean the world to me because, like I said, I'm no one special. I'm not. I'm. I'll never be a star. Even if I even if I get a million subscribers, I will never be a star. I'll always just be some idiot who created videos <laughs> in a scuffed room for people to watch and. Laugh at and that's that's something that i will always be grateful about that's something that i'll always be grateful for that's something that i personally i personally just created videos because i wasn't you know i wasn't the happiest boy in the world so i figured hey why not try something new why not create something that i could look back on and laugh at and literally for three months i've had i had less than 10 subscribers i had to do a google ad campaign just to get 60 subscribers how sad is that and literally the next month after that i, I somehow hit my first hundred and i'll never forget that feeling when i refreshed in my youtube studio app just seeing that hundred subscribers come in i just felt amazing i don't necessarily say i have a goal 
but in all honesty my dream always has been to get that 100k plaque and maybe one day we'll upgrade to a different room and we'll have that 100k plaque i create videos to show people that hey you don't need a insane production team hey you don't need a, you don't need a million group of friends to have funny moments you could be one guy one girl in your room just creating videos for the heck of it and still see some success from it i literally have 2,000 subscribers and yes that is still small but to me that that's insane that's huge that's humongous i've never 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 in my life pictured that at least i mean come on look at this face does this look like a million subscriber face <laughs> okay i uh, I'm sorry. You guys are making my dreams come true. And like I always say, everyone that subscribed to me from the start, I plan on doing something to give back to everyone. And I always make these dumb community posts just thanking everyone. And some of you may find that annoying. But I truly can never put into words just how thankful I am. So now that we're nearing 2,000 subscribers before my birthday, I wanted to just me scuff this puppy, scuff puppy. Just wanted to say thank you, everyone. I'll try to be the best version of myself that I can be for these videos. I'll try to do whatever I can to make my videos funny. Now, by all means, if you want to roast me, go for it. Roast me. I don't care. I've, I've been called every name in the book. doesn't matter to me. At this point in my life, I just want to create content. Thank you guys so much for watching. Scuff Puppy out. Subscribe to Scuff Puppies.